Trevor Summers, the defendant, never took the stand in his own defense. But Summers, acting as his own attorney, spoke directly to the jury. This was not a, uh, a scene that depicted some kind of crime or some kind of uh, anything more than what she described as wrestling around. Summers, who's accused of kidnapping his estranged wife, Elisa Mathewson, and attempting a murder-suicide, told the jury, Elisa's story just doesn't add up. This wasn't a kidnapping, he said. This was planned. We packed, we left, and we had a, a plan to go to my house. Uh, her accusation is that uh, she was tied to go to my house. But I ask you, does it make sense to go meet children with a woman tied up? Back on March 11th of 2017, Elisa and Trevor Summers were going through a bitter divorce. Despite a restraining order against him, they say Summers broke into the house and attacked Elisa in her bedroom, where she was held against her will for hours. He used the Christmas lights to tie me to the bed rails. At one point, being hogtied, the pain was so incredible. Elisa cried on the stand as she recounted how Summers tried to smother her to death and later raped her twice. Summers tried to suggest it was consensual during an awkward cross-examination. That only triggered a fiery response. Did I hold you down? You did push me. You did hold me down. You did tie me up. You did attack me and you did break into my home when I was sleeping. You raped me. Powerful moments that could make an impact on the jury. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. A jury's been deliberating already for about four hours now, and so far they have not reached a verdict. When they do, we will certainly let you know.